Hey dads and coaches, welcome to Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Coach Mack with Authority Football. Today we're talking about some of the best combinations to move the chains and to win you games. And we're going to talk about one of my favorites, which is the smash concept. It's a great concept that puts a vertical stress on those outside cornerbacks and really puts them in a bind so you can move the chains and score those touchdowns. Now, what we're doing is we're running a hitch concept or a hitch route from our number one receiver. Um, and of course, we want that corner to have to make a decision high low here. So we've got a low route, which means we need a high route. And the only way to get there from here is, of course, to send number two out over the top of that with a corner route. And that's a smash concept, some sort of low hitch or square in or some route that sits right here. And then an over the top route from the inside receiver um, with this corner. Really simple, really popular. Turn on the, the TV any weekend and you're going to see this route being run at all levels of football and, uh, and really easy to execute at your level as well. So we're putting that vertical stress on the corner here. Now, um, biggest problem we see on this um, is coordinating our footwork, right? So this is an intermediate type of, or a vertical route broken at kind of that intermediate depth, that eight to 12 yard type of range. We like to run that on our eighth step. That's a five step drop. So make sure we're executing on that, on that fifth step. Um, and we like to throw that on time. If we're a little bit late on that, uh, then what happens is this route gets farther and wider and that gives the, makes the ball travel farther, which means we have to throw it a little higher and um, so on. Gives the corner more time to work and get underneath that. So we don't want to be late with our footwork there. Okay. And the second thing is, well, I see a lot of quarterbacks try to throw it to that grass out there. Now, uh, we have the same problem with the corner getting underneath that. So we want to throw it as flat as possible and only as high as necessary. So when we make our read and we're reading this corner, if his hips are square, meaning he's facing the line of scrimmage or he's facing this number one receiver, if his hips are square, then our route is there, okay? And so we wanna uh, stick that foot in the ground on that fifth step and deliver the football as flat as possible but as high as necessary. So instead of throwing it way out here with an arcing throw, I wanna put that ball on our route as quickly as possible, keep it out of the air as, as, uh, as much as possible, um, so that it gets into our receiver's hands and nobody can make a play on that. We hold the free safety so that he can't come over on it. We hold him with a good vertical route. We bend that in to threaten him, uh, his seam or his post, and that gives us a great space to hit that route right here in this window um, and not way out here and over the top of that corner where he can make a play. Really simple, really powerful. The footwork's super important. Then have your quarterback be very confident with his read. Remember, if he's square, we're there. Let it rip. Let your guy score touchdowns. Check us out next week. We're going to talk about another one of these great concepts that are going to keep those first downs coming and then get your guys in the end zone to score you touchdowns and win you games. We'll see you next week. Hey, this is Coach Mack. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to our channel.